Hi everyone, in this video we will be solving another lead code problem, Excel sheet column title. So the problem states that we are given with an integer column number and we has to return its corresponding column title as it appears in the Excel sheet. So we know that uh, A is the first column, B is the second, C is the third and uh, so on. So we are given with these type of numbers like uh, let's say 28, 27 and F and so on and we have to find the uh, Excel sheet column title. So I have a sheet here so we are given with these numbers and we have to find the title. So let's say if we are given with 10 uh, it should be J and it can be anything more than Z also. So. This is another example where uh, 701 will map to ZY. So that's the problem. Uh, I'll change my screen to uh, explain how we can solve this. Let's take the examples that are given to us. So first example is 1. This maps to A. Next example is 28. This maps to AB. And last is 701 this maps to something I don't remember okay so let's take this simple example so before going into the solution I would like to mention that this problem is very similar to converting a number to binary or converting a number to hex and in this case uh, to Excel so the only difference is in binary we have only two character sets 0 and 1 in hex we have 0 to 15 or 15 we call f also and here we have 26 options to select 1 to 26 or a to z so we'll follow the similar approach that is used to convert uh, to binary or hex so what we'll do uh, taking 28 we'll take 28 We'll take modulus 26 this will give us 2 and 2 maps to b from the table that is given in the question then we'll divide by 26 also this will give us 1 and then again take modulus of 26 this will give us 1 and 1 maps to a so we are our output is b a in the end we'll reverse this and will return a b this is our this is our answer so one of the tweak that uh, we should do is, is instead of mapping from 0 to 26 we'll uh, take the numbers from 0 to 25 that's just because taking modulus modulus of 26 will give us the numbers from 0 to 25 so it will make us very simple to map 0 to a and 25 to z that's why whatever number is given will subtract by 1 so that my range becomes 0 to 25 instead of 1 to 26 and then we'll follow the same operation that we have shown here and again we'll divide by 26 and it becomes 0 so we'll break here and whatever we have accumulated we'll reverse that and return so uh, let's go back to lead code to uh, code this as we saw we has to uh, keep on dividing the column number by 26 and uh, taking the modulus which maps from 0 to 25 and uh, will map from a, a character from a to z so let's take a empty array or list and uh, loop over this column number that is given to us till this is more than zero and as we discussed that we has to limit the number from 0 to 25 instead of 1 to 26 which is given to us so this will uh, map from 0 to 25 instead of 1 to 26 that's why we are subtracting here uh, by one we'll take modulus of this now this will give us a number from 0 to 25 we'll take care of 
this in python we can use chr and we'll use 65 plus v 65 is the base for us because 65 maps to capital a if we uh, see the sky codes and we have to map from a to z so whatever is the value of v it will v it will be mapped accordingly and then we have to append in this we have that character and in the end we have to divide this by 26 also and uh, yeah we will get the result in res and we have to reverse this because we will get in opposite order so we will take modulus of uh, 26 on uh, 28 it will give us b but uh, it is in the re reverse order that's why we are doing reverse here and then we'll return but uh, this is a list we'll have to convert it to a string and then it should be good so let's take all the examples and run this yeah, accept it and let's submit this accepted so this is the solution for this problem excel sheet to column title now we we can uh, discuss about the uh, time and space complexity of this one so this is also straightforward i'll recommend pause for a second and then uh, think about the complexity okay complexity totally depends on this column number which is given to us and what operations we are doing these all the operation we are doing are order of one and we are every time dividing this by a 26 so whatever is the number every time it gets divided by 26 so what we can do is uh, as with binary search the time complexity of this one will be order of log n just because n is the column number that is given to us just because every time we are dividing it by a 26 so it gets divided by power of 26 that's why uh, this is a logarithmic algorithm and mind you in this case the base of the log is 26 because we are dividing by 26 in, uh, and not 2 in every other algorithm let's say binary search we divide by 2 that's why the base of the log is 2 in this case it is 26 so I'll mention here base 26 space complexity will also be same as uh, time because in every time we are inside this loop we are taking another character to uh, save the result that's why the space complexity will also be log of n so that's it for this video see you in the next one bye bye